My name is Rafi Ketadorian. This week I wrote a piece about WikiLeaks, a website where secret government documents and privileged corporate information can be posted anonymously by whistleblowers or people who have inside information from a particular institution. Uh, WikiLeaks was most recently in the press because of a video that it released. Overseas now into a highly classified video of a controversial U.S. helicopter attack in Iraq. WikiLeaks says it received the classified video and supporting documents from anonymous military sources. See all those people standing down there? The video documents the killing of two Reuters journalists and about 15 other people. The total number of casualties is unknown. In the first phase of this video, the American helicopter is hovering above a group of men in eastern Baghdad. That's a weapon, yeah. Two Reuters journalists are walking among the men, and the soldiers in the helicopter mistake their camera equipment as weapons. Come on, fire! The helicopter swings around, and the first attack begins. Reuters has been seeking to obtain this footage through the Freedom of Information Act for a couple of years now, and the military has not released the video to them yet. Why keep it classified? I mean, was there information in that... So when WikiLeaks released the video, uh, it had a big media impact. It put the military in a position where it had to explain the events uh, that were documented. The Army released some of the investigative materials that had been generated. And there's more that keep walking by, and one of them has a weapon. The video begins hovering over the city, and it almost seems like the opening of a Hollywood film. From our experience with movies, we are encoded to interpret this kind of imagery as the sort of the beginning of a story. But the video never rushes to the ground uh, as it might in a film. This is in part what makes the video so unsettling, because we are viewing war from behind the barrel of a gun. To some extent, the video, its discussion, what WikiLeaks was trying to do, what the military tries to do, is about building narratives. The military, like journalists, like writers, like politicians, attempts to frame the things that it does as a story. And in this case, WikiLeaks has created this video in part to offer a counter-narrative. This organization, which has sort of prided itself on being extremely low-key and keeping its membership anonymous, uh, it was suddenly sort of brought into the spotlight. Did your website selectively edit this video? Because I am hearing that.